Yo, what's up YouTube fam? Welcome back. We are about 25 days out from the Europa. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alex. Um, a bodybuilder and a personal <clears throat> personal trainer who is on a journey of getting to his goals and helping other people get to his goals. And we are 25 days out from my second show ever. Working with AJ Sims, AKA Cement Factory. This man is known for getting his athletes peeled, peeled. So just to brush up on that, you know, it's it's been rough. Um, if you wanna know what my macros have been the past four days, well, for protein, 250 grams of protein. For carbs, 100, rounded it up to 110 grams of carbs. And for fats, 10 grams of fats. If you're not really familiar with how macros work and everything, how your body works, here's a little quick breakdown. So this is a very low carbs for me, 110 grams. My first show, the last week, peak week for me, I was at 115 grams of carbs. Peak week. We're 3.5 weeks out from the show and we're at 110 grams. So very rough on top of that i was at maybe i was around 40 to 60 grams of fat which could be avocados egg yolks things like that i'm at 10 grams so my body what what's that mean alex means your body has two to three sources of energy first one is carbs second one is fats and third one is protein so once your body goes through your carbs it goes to your fats then it kind of starts using your protein a little bit, but also starts really manipulating more of your own fat source, your own fat supply of your body. And that's what we're trying to do. So when you keep it low carb, low fats, your body starts utilizing your own personal fats for energy, for energy, whether it be for your cardio, walking around, lifting. So that's what my body's doing. That's why it's so, it's, it's difficult because it's not the best form of energy. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, had a rest day yesterday i went i've been training six days straight and i realized it's kind of caught up to me so i'm not really i'm gonna do a split which is three days on one day off and that's why it's so important sorry i just had some bcas that's why it's so important to know your body listen to your body. some people can train hard intense six days a week cardio and everything and be fine with one day off but what I realized is like by the time Sunday came, my body was stressed. The cortisol levels, cause you have to understand when you're working out, you're stressing your body, good and bad. Like you're, the muscle, the only way the muscle can grow is through stress. But if you're overstressing your body, you're gonna really pretty much diminish your muscle. So can't come Sunday, last Sunday, I was mentally messed up, physically messed up, everything was just messed up. So Monday came yes, yesterday, oh man, I was just, I was in heaven because I rested, I slept, I chilled, I relaxed. And now that's why I feel good today. I'm still on low carbs my fourth day, but I feel good, you know, because my body took a break finally. Um, today we're gonna hit some chest. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys my posing. I was working with my old coach, um, Troy Tate. He was helping me out with some of my posing. Did about a half hour, went through some movements, and then we talked about my body. Um, but it was good to just get some posing practice because I need it. You know, even though I'm tired, I, I needed it. So I'll throw that in there today. But let's hit this uh, chest workout. Um, it's gonna be basic. My goal is to just pump blood into the muscle, squeeze, get the muscle fibers because I'm not trying to grow right now. I'm not trying to build muscle. I'm trying to maintain what I have right now and just focus on detail. Detail, getting my chest chiseled. I'm not really gonna take my shirt off. Maybe I will, I'm not sure. But I'm just, I'd like to keep everything covered up right now. But I'm gonna take you to a chest workout for maintaining and chiseling your, your chest. So without further ado, let's go ahead to the gym, man. What up, fam? <clears throat> yeah, it's been, look at the day. It's been like this all day. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and uh, to go train a client. But it was just been, it's just been raining, so I'm like, damn, bro, we couldn't train today. So I'm looking maybe we train tomorrow. Hopefully it's not raining too much. But it's just been raining. So, it, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't mind the rain, though. Because, you know, there's a saying that goes, it's like we all want to grow we all want to get better but you know it's like we gotta have rainy days that's literally how plants grow rain and sun but like the plants need sun plants need rain to grow so on a rainy day like this i i always look at it as, as another opportunity to do something else whether it be reading a new book whether it be uh learning how to edit learning how to do new workouts you know so you know make the best of what's in front of you 
just can't go outside as much. And you can't go outside, just wear a hoodie. Good, but let's go, fam. Let's go to the gym. Let's have a good workout. Okay. That was my last set. Something I've learned about watching more pros do this is that they make each set just count. Go heavy, especially towards the end of prep. Go heavy, make it count, but not too heavy. Enough to work. Three to four sets, 10 to 12 reps, that's it, done, move forward. Next exercise. Guys, this next one is gonna be a. Uh, you might not have this machine at your gym. I've only seen it at this gym, but it's like a decline dumbbell, and like you get to pull over. But I'm hitting. I went from incline on bench right there on the machine to decline because I need decline. You have to look at your chest and realize what you need. For me, I personally need decline, and I think personally a lot of people need decline too. We're always trying to hit incline, 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 which is great. We need to develop the upper chest, but we gotta lift up the bottom first before we lift up the top, in my opinion. So, right now I'm gonna show you this machine I'm gonna do. Transition from a bent over fly after 10 to 12 reps to a regular fly for 10 to 12 reps. And you'll see at one point I open my hands up because once it starts getting heavier or you start getting more fatigued, you tend to use more of your forearms. And we don't want to use forearms, we want to use your chest. So I open my hands, release the forearm, and just try to close together. Even though I can only get two or three more, it's better than getting five using my forearm. Okay? Alright fam, that was a little posing video off my phone. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better, so right now what I'm gonna do is I gotta hit 25 minutes of cardio, so I'm gonna hit the stairmaster right now. And um, yeah, let's hit this baby. That shit don't get easier, man. 
drenched, man. It does not get easier for now. I mean, it will get easier, 100%. I'll just get stronger mentally. But it's my second cardio of the day. I did cardio this morning, 25 minutes on there, 25 minutes. That's a 50 minute total on Stairmaster. I did 25 minutes in um, Stairmaster. I mean, a treadmill. But it gets your legs going and everything. We're done, man. Go home, eat. Let's get it, baby. All right, guys, here's our post workout 80 grams of asparagus, 7 ounces of fish. Oh, how much I love fish. Psych, I hate fish. Um, five cranks. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Um, we lowered my sodium. We were doing, I was doing 10 cranks, and my coach was like, all right, five cranks now. That way we can track the sodium. Um, it's helped me out a lot. I was using too much sodium at one point, and it was making me constipated and holding, making me hold the water. But here it is. I have three more meals just like this. Let's go. Stand up. Yep, you coach me. Good. Bring your arms down more. Good. Toes out more. A little more. Then bring the heels in just slightly. So. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And then pull off the knees more like this. Yeah, there you go. Good. Push down the arms a little more. Nice. Get the core turned right. Get glutes. Nice. I'm going to adjust you a little bit. Get core turn. Get feet a little more close together. There you go. Sit on those hamstrings. There you go. Sit down a little more. Good. Core turn. Good. That arm facing knee, bring it down more. Don't bend it so much. That, yes, way better. Good. Face front. It, you don't want it to do this because it looks kind of like it pulls your delta. You don't want to hide that shoulder. You know what so I mean? you want to keep it. So up here, right? Mm -hmm. Here. Down there. Yes. There you go. Now your shoulders are level. They're parallel. They're I'm not. Still like, yeah, you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your face front. You bring your arms down slightly. You have good delts, so display them. Right. Pulling on your I'm here, I won't be able to, right? No, because it's like you're driving a car or something. Oh. <laughs> no, and then when you get tired on stage, you'll naturally want to do it more, and then it'll look really bad. So here. You want them to have it pulling down. Oh, okay. Got yes, it. that'll ball the biceps more too, and then and then bring in that separation. Beautiful. Okay, one more time, core turn. Okay, bring the arm down more. Good. Your arm facing the stomach, keep bringing that in more too. Yeah, there you go. Core turn. Sit on the hamstrings. Core turn. Face front. Good. Pull his knees out a little harder. There you go. Get front of the bicep. Bring the arm down, down a little more. Like right this way. There you go. Looks better. Chest up. Nice. Pull off the legs. Good. Relax. Front last third. Good, chest up. Relax. You definitely put some size on it. I believe 10 pounds. Since you can months. see it. It's quality. Side chest. Good. Sit on those, sit on those hamstrings. Pull that knee that way. Shove it. There you go. Squeeze the glute. 
these little striders want to pop out when you stick that butt? Yes, you want to do that. Good, relax. The more you pull that leg over this way, so watch my hands, watch they pop. And so on. So, coming in here and sitting on it. Yeah, I even come out and I drag the foot across. Drag it against the other leg and then push, push down on it. Yeah. Then squeeze the butt. Good, pull the elbow. Yeah, the leg already looks better. Oh. You see how it ties in? It's yeah. a, little, a little blurry, but you can see No, it. right, right. That's how it's going to tell my guy. Definitely in there. Hold it. Get relaxed. Set on the hamstring. What's up, fam? So, I may be brutally honest with you guys. That was um, that was more of yesterday posing. You know, again, I was holding water in my legs and um, I was a little constipated, but me and my coach fixed that today. Um, drinking a little bit more decaf coffee, letting me go to the bathroom. Um, honestly, I think it's the asparagus, but also my, I haven't been taking my digestive enzymes, and that's why it's so important. You gotta take your digestive enzymes, especially when you're eating every two, three hours. Focus on your digestive system and you will have more results your body will soak up more nutrients you'll have better pumps in the gym and overall your whole gut health will be a lot better you'll feel a lot better so please please focus on your gut health digestive enzymes water apple cider vinegar if you can take it um probiotics keep your gut healthy with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you did smash that like button and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for further videos. And um, 25 days out, baby. Let's keep going. Let's keep at it. Let's keep working hard. Until next time, guys.